Righty then. 6.30am, Thursday morning. We're off to Badger 5. See you when we get there. Should be a nice little clip, but sadly our microphone failed. We weighed the car, 1,202 kilos plus 40 kilos of fuel, making it 1,242 as a wet weight. Now, without the fuel, to be under our 300 brake per tonne limit, we need 360 horsepower. So, we're going to turn it up, see what the G25 550 can do, then we'll wind it back down to a 360 brake race map. So what we do now, before we go on the dyno, we're just checking the cam timing on the cat cams. So when we threw them in a couple of years ago, we just timed them flat to flat. Now I've got the setup sheet from Cat, and that's actually about four or five degrees out. So we're just going to dial them in. Should hopefully gain a little bit low down and possibly help with EGTs as well. So we're going to do that and then throw it on the dyno. So what I'm doing now, I'm just quickly reading the map off before we start. So I've got to save, I tend to save all the maps I do. So we'll read that off and then we'll start tweaking. Right, so the car's strapped onto the dyno. We've got the doors closed now in the new uh, new fully insulated dyno cell. You can probably just about here. Bill's running the car up in the background and we're going to see what it makes. It's quite nerve wracking listening to it. Straight on boost at 3k, and then uh, yeah, AFR actually looks better on the dyno plot than it does on Emerald. Maybe it's not quite as bad as I thought. You've got K4 on set, you've got M500 also. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, the, it's the panacea that eight, ten years ago we were thinking just couldn't do a fully added turbo that could do yeah. no lag with all the power. Yeah. I went, yeah, we wish for that, and then G25 turns up. Right, so we've done a run on gate pressure with about 312 brake at 0.7 bar. With the cams tweaked, it's coming on to boost really hard at 3K, so that's, that's definitely an improvement. So we're just going to turn on map two and see how it's running. No. A couple of runs on 
one's done on map two. Uh, we're doing about 1.6 bar now, and it's looking like about 430 break, which is pretty much where I thought it was when we were at Thruxton. So, yeah, really happy. I'm going to turn the wick up, see if there's any more in it, and then we'll turn it down and dial it in for the, uh, the 360 map. So we dialed in the full boost map. We've got 1.8 bar in the mid range, tapering off to about 1.7 at the top end. That keeps a 550 within the 185,000 RPM shaft speed limit, Garrett advised. That's netted us 455 brake and about 420 foot pounds. And it's holding that 455 pretty much at 7,800. So with that done, we're gonna go against the grain a little bit. We're gonna turn the boost down. So to meet our 300 brake per tonne limit, we want 300 brake per tonne for as many RPM as possible. So we're going to find where it comes in, and then we're going to try and tune it as flat as we can by tapering the boost out until we end up with 360 flat across the board. It's going to be a bit counterintuitive detuning the car, but we'll uh, we'll run it up and we'll see how it comes out. Four and a half, so four and a half down is what we need to do. Our range of adjustment is from there. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what it's? That's actuator. That's actuator. So we've got four and a half, 1.76 bar, is 358 brake. And then we wind it out until we have 358 brake at 8k. So 4,500 revs, we've got 50% duty. And I think we want to be coming out to about 38% at the top end. So I'm just going to put some random numbers into this. 42.7, 38.8, uh, we're going the wrong way, what should we tuck in there, 37.6, 40.8, 37.3, done. Oh, it's not touchscreen, it's a laptop. <laughs> done, right, let's run it, see what it does. So first run on the race map, trying to taper the boost off. We still made 406, so we're turning it down a little bit more, see if we can get it closer to the 360 target we need. Right, so we just come off the dyno. The race map has done exactly 360 brake, dead flat. So we've dialed it into about 420 foot-pounds of torque, which comes in about 4,200 revs, then tapered the boost out to try and maintain 360 across the range. So with the fuel in and the water in the tanks and stuff, the car should never drop below the 1,200 kilos. So we're bang on our 300 brake per tonne. Badge of five, dyno, done. We've got a gate pressure map, which after some tweaks actually made 346 brake at 0.7 bar. We've got a race map, 
which makes 360 brake dead flat across the board. Um, throw all the boost in really early on, 420 foot pounds and 360 brake at 4200 RPM and then it makes exactly 360 all the way to nearly 8000 RPM. Have I gone the wrong way? I have. I think I've gone the wrong way already. And then we've got a full beans map which is doing 1.8 bar at the top tapering down to 1.7 and that is making 463 brake. I have no idea where I am. Well the new Badger 5 place is incredible. It's about four times as big as the old unit. A really nice kit in there. The dyno cell is superb and it's just so much space. It's got a really nice airfield, lovely cafe, no traffic around, no people. It's first class. Absolutely first class. What a fantastic day. It's Bill, Alex and Nathan helped out all day. Alex and Nate got the camp timing done this morning. So I had a good old catch up. We got the car on the dyno, we've done all the tuning. My road mapping wasn't too bad in the end. The AFR was really good, I hardly needed any tweaks. Um, I'd only pushed it to 1.6 bar or so, and that did 430 brake. We've upped that a bit now, we've ended up at 464, which I'm really pleased with. And then at the end of the day, I drove the car on a dyno. I've never driven a car on a dyno before. It was a bizarre experience, but it was really cool. Just sat in here, feeling the car shake, feeling the revs rise and you're not going anywhere. Absolutely bizarre. That's about all there is to it, guys. I really hope you liked the video. I think we're back to a bit more interesting content lately, which is pretty cool. Um, please do drop us a comment and let us know what you think. Is that more than you expected? Less? home what an awesome day um a couple of things i didn't say in the car earlier i just need to say a massive massive thanks to bill and the guys at badger five alex and nath done an absolutely epic job today thank you so much for all your help so yeah cracking drive back I opened it up a few times high boost is just savage beyond belief and the race map feels pretty incredible too um change gear a bit sooner ride the wave of talk feels awesome even on gate pressure, it feels way more urgent than it did before. And I think that is down to the cam timing now being optimised. So yeah, epic day. I really hope you guys have liked the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Drop us a comment down below. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. You want, mate? I've got a ticket for one of these. you got a ticket for that one, it's got no brakes. My kind of forklift. <laughs> what are we doing anyway?